homelessness has reached uh, crisis proportions in many communities across the province. It is an issue that lands on the doorstep of municipalities, but we don't have the tools, the funding, the policies, uh, even the legal authority in many cases to deal with this. And we certainly can't deal with it alone. So the Association of Municipalities of Ontario has put together a resolution. They are asking municipalities to endorse. Uh, that will come to our council later today. Uh, for endorsement. I sit, as you know, on the large urban caucus of AMO. They've also asked for an emergency summit on housing and homelessness. And the Ontario Big City Mayors, which uh, I'm the vice chair of, has also done significant work in this area. I co-chaired a mental health and addictions uh, task force. We presented a number of recommendations, but that is related to homelessness. Often people slide into homelessness because of mental health and addiction. So we need to deal with root cause issues because they are, uh, they are landing literally on our streets of our cities and we are simply ill prepared to deal with it. We need the province's help. And kind of on the same vein here, you also joined a panel over at the University of Guelph to speak about planning development in, in municipalities. Now, this year's symposium had a specific focus on Bill 23 and what it means for planning in municipalities all across Ontario. Now, you provided the political perspective on the panel. How was the symposium for you? What insight or knowledge did you share from Burlington on the panel? It was actually an honor to be there. It was put on by the Rural Planning Department of Guelph. They are renowned for the work that they do in rural communities. And of course, Burlington is half rural. And so they asked me to talk about the impact of Bill 23. And I focused on two areas. The first is the, uh, the, the inability that municipalities will have to collect development charges, which pay for things like water, wastewater, transportation, community centers, parks, all of the things you need to build housing and, and support new housing, but also make life livable. So I focused on that. We, we certainly at the city, at the province, of uh, the Ontario big city mayor's table and many other voices have raised the alarm bells, uh, but also the need to protect our rural area and especially our green belt. And so we in the city of Burlington have a plan to accommodate the new housing that is coming our way without expanding our urban boundary and without building onto the green belt. And, and so we're encouraging um, other municipalities to do that. We do not need to compromise rural and agricultural lands that feed us and that are thriving economy in Ontario in order to meet our housing targets. And switching topics a little bit. So yesterday, the city of Burlington unveiled an Indigenous outdoor exhibit at Spencer Smith Park. Can you tell me a little bit about the celebration? Yeah, this was a walk uh, through Spencer Smith Park. It was opened by White Eagle, an urban Indigenous resident who set the intentions for us. Uh, there are electrical boxes in Spencer Smith that we, the city commissioned Indigenous artists to uh, commission artwork that would wrap those. So it is a permanent display of Indigenous art. The orange crosswalk uh, for our Indigenous uh, community was unveiled last September, and that is at uh, Spencer Smith Discovery Landing. And then we made our way along to Joe Brandt Museum, named, of course, for uh, Mohawk Chief Joseph Brandt, and for the unveiling of a new sculpture uh, of a woman and uh, many symbols that have meaning. I really encourage people to get out and read the description of that artwork. It is a spectacular piece. And then we had, um, uh, we went inside the museum and had more celebration and honor of really of our indigenous history and heritage here in the city of Burlington across the country, of course, uh, but doing our part to acknowledge our indigenous history. All right. Well, Mayor Mead Ward, that's the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Great to be here. 